What is going on you guys? Our app, Exerprise, is finally out. And right now, guys, we made a little video tutorial showing you how the app works and how it functions. So, let's get into it. So let's start off by going to the main screen. This is what will appear first when you open the app. There are four main options that allow you to customize your workout based on what muscle groups you want to work out, your equipment accessibility, your choice of time intervals, which replace the standard sets and reps, and also your time availability. Let's dive into the first option, muscle groups. The muscle groups option gives you a ton of variety no matter which muscle group split you want to perform. For example, back and biceps, or full lower or upper body workouts, or total full body workouts. This is completely up to you. The options you can specifically select are chest, back, traps, shoulders, triceps, biceps, forearms, legs, calves, glutes and hips, lower abs, middle abs, upper abs, obliques, and cardio. As we said before, you can choose just one of the options or all of them. Now if you notice, there is an arrow next to selection options, which will bring you to the next main option, equipment availability. Now that you've chosen what muscle groups you want to work out, we want you to be able to have full control over what equipment options you'll need as well. You will never be given a workout that requires equipment you don't have. The equipment options are body weight, dumbbell, barbell, resistance band, and kettlebell. Also, at this point in time, every single exercise in our database, no matter what equipment option you choose, can be done at home or at the gym. A future update will include more gym-specific exercises and even more equipment options, but at first, we want to make sure that no matter where you are, if you have the equipment, you can use it to your advantage. Also note that there is tap here when done text, so you don't have to follow the arrows from main option to main option if you don't want. If you tap outside the selection boxes, you'll go right back to the main screen. But let's get into the next main option, time intervals. The time intervals option replaces the standard sets and reps. Time is valuable and we want you to be able to have the most time efficient workout possible. Active time during exercise represents how long you will actually be performing each exercise. Rest time between exercises represents exactly what it says, how long you'll be resting between each exercise. This process is known as high intensity interval training and it is a scientifically proven effective method of training. You have a ton of options to choose for your intervals. The active time during exercise allows you to select 10 seconds up to two minutes. The rest time between exercises allows you to select zero seconds. So if you're a fan of the five minute workouts, a style like that, or up to two minutes if you're going for more strength as an example. So keep in mind, if you're a fan of the Tabata workouts or the 10 minute workouts, which are 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, you are able to select these specific workouts. If you have no idea what interval you want to do or should do, there is a random button which will select one out of 10 pre-selected interval options from our personal recommendations. Never waste time again and use the time you have to get the utmost result. Now let's go over the last main option, workout length. The workout length option is exactly what it says. You get to choose how long you work out for. Everyone has different time availabilities and that should not be a restriction or a reason you don't exercise. Exerprise allows you to select a workout length of as little as four minutes or as long as up to two hours. You can use our app for full workouts or even just quick routines. Now that you know how the four main options work, let us explain you another awesome feature of our app. You don't have to select any of these options. You can literally open the app up and just hit generate my workout at the bottom and boom, a completely random workout is generated for you. Or you can just choose one of the main options, two of them or three of them. We are giving you the option to customize your workout based on your accessibility and your availability. But if it doesn't matter to you, you don't even have to bother about thinking about that. One note regarding this, if you go to the time intervals option or the workout length option and don't select anything the app will assume you've chosen the lowest time values for them so that way your intervals will be 10 seconds on zero seconds rest and a four minute workout if you do not open these two main options though they will be completely randomized now everyone let's go over what happens when you hit the generate my workout button at the bottom of the main screen your workout summary appears the workout summary is simply listing all the unique exercises that the app has randomly generated for your workout this preview of your workout is going to have even more customizable features to the right of every exercise there's an alternate exercise button so for example you don't like a specific exercise or maybe it's too hard the app will randomly substitute it for another also by clicking on the exercise a video of how to perform it will be displayed so you know exactly what it is. Another customizable feature is if you swipe left, you have the option to delete an exercise. So for example, if the app randomly generated seven exercises for your chest workout, you can delete one so only six exercises will be performed. One more customizable feature is at the top right of the workout summary screen, there is a button that if you select, gives you the option to change the order of the exercises performed in each muscle group. 
The same button in the top right will appear next to each exercise when you select it, and by simply holding down on the button that is now next to each exercise gives you the ability to move it within the muscle group. So even though our app completely randomizes the exercises for your workout, so you don't have to do the same workout over and over again, you still have the ability to customize the exercises. Now let's hit the play button at the bottom to begin your workout. The actual workout screen now appears. There will be a five second countdown before the workout begins, so you have some time to set up. A timer is run throughout the entire workout following the time interval selected. This way you can easily follow along with your workout and know how much time is left for each specific exercise and rest period. Also, there is a halfway or switch sides indicator as well as a three, two, one countdown when the exercise is almost done. If you turn the volume up on your phone, there are vocals for your convenience as well. Along with the timer, the name of the exercise as well as a video of the exercise playing on a loop is displayed at the top so you never forget what exercise you're doing or how to perform it. Just remember to always go at your own pace. At the bottom left corner, a timer of how much time is left in the full workout is displayed so on top of being aware of the time left per exercise and rest period, you are also for the full workout. Next to the full workout timer at the bottom, the name along with a picture of what the next exercise is going to be is shown. You can also click on that to skip to it if you desire. You will also notice that there is a pause button. Say for example you're working out at home and the doorbell rings or the phone, you can pause your workout so you don't miss any of it and you can start right back up where you left off. Also, utilize this button if you need a longer rest within a specific exercise interval or between muscle groups. This is completely to your convenience. Also, if you receive a phone call during your workout, the app will pause it for you so you don't get distracted. Next to the pause button is an option to skip to the next exercise as well, or once you're past the first exercise, go back to the one before. When the workout is paused, an end workout button also appears if you decide maybe you want to do a different workout or whatever reason you need to stop. Once you have finished your workout, a you did it pop up will be displayed to emphasize your hard work. This screen gives you the ability to save the workout you just did or exit back to the main screen. Now let's go back to the main screen. In the top left there is a button that when clicked will display multiple tabs. The first tab being home which will bring you back to the main screen. The second tab is Go Premium. This tab is where you can upgrade from a free user to a subscription based user. And I know it's us saying it's worth it, but it really is. Premium users can completely use the app ad-free, they unlock every single exercise in the database which is 67% more so you'll have over 500 exercises and you can save unlimited workouts as a premium user. Free users can only save up to two and you'll enjoy all the exclusive features coming out in future updates. The premium subscription plans are the Never Settle plan which is paid monthly at a rate of $7.99, the No Limits plan is paid biannually so every six months at a fee of $35.99 which saves you 25% because broken down month to month it's only $5.99. Then the transform plan which is paid yearly at a fee of $47.99 which saves you 50% since it's month to month that is literally only $3.99 which is incredibly cheap and of course you have the option to cancel your subscription or renew it if you ever need to. The next tab is the exercise library. This is the complete database of every exercise in the app and will expand as we add more exercises and future updates. Right now there is literally over 500 exercises in there. When you click on an exercise, a video of how to perform the exercise is displayed so you know exactly what it is and how to do it. A lock though will appear over premium exercises if you're a free user. At the top of the database, there is a search bar to find any specific exercise you may be looking for. In the top right hand corner, there is a scroll option that navigates muscle group to muscle group for your convenience also. So even if you don't remember the name of an exercise, all you have to remember is what muscle group it hits and the scroll button will bring you right there. The next tab is your saved workouts. If you are a premium user, you can have unlimited saved workouts, but if you are a free user, then you can only save up to two. You are able to name your saved workouts to whatever you'd like. Now, when you save your workouts, it saves exactly how it was, meaning the same exact customization settings as well as the exercises. Now, when you click on your saved workout to do it again, a new customizable option is displayed on the workout summary. In the bottom right corner, there is a randomization button. By clicking this button, the exercises in your workout will be completely re-randomized using the same customization settings. If you don't want all the new exercises, then just hit play, or if you want to change just one or move one around, the alternate exercise button and movement buttons are still there. The next tab is commonly asked questions with our responses. And the tab after that is to rate our app. 
We seriously appreciate all the positive ratings we get. It really does help us out, guys. Then the tab after that is to share the app. Help us grow. The people who see the app and use it to its potential, the more lives we can change together. Below that tab is the manage subscription option. So if you want to re renew, upgrade, or cancel, that's where you'll go. Then next is the tab with our terms of use, privacy policy, as well as our disclaimer. And lastly, this tab is just a little bit about us and XSurprise. So we hope you guys enjoyed this little video tutorial showing you how the app actually works. Guys, this has never been done before. We've been grinding for months at this, and our developer, Mohit, he absolutely killed it, and we're so pumped to finally get it public. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy the app. Make sure you leave a good review if you liked it, and be honest with us if you didn't. And make sure you leave some comments down below. Thumbs up the video. We'll see you in the next one. Start using that app. See you.